Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Wednesday, April 17th, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, me being me is all the talent I need. And here we are in the penultimate day of Sun and Aries, uh, preparing us for Sun and Taurus, which is breaking us open with this Jupiter Uranus conjunction and today's the day like if you haven't felt it yet you are going to be feeling it for two reasons one is that today Jupiter reaches 21 degrees Uranus is at 21 degrees while this isn't the exact conjunction here it is friends and we have been experiencing it but this is just like amplifying the energy it's like how dare I say the word <laughs> earthquakes um like, you know, each number up, like, I don't know the science, but it's like 10 times the intensity or something like that. Like, it ramps up, and that's what this energy is doing together. It's ramping up. Now, the second reason that you're going to be feeling it today is because the moon is coming in and engaging in a square with Jupiter and Uranus. And this moon in Leo, this is tricky. And I now understand everything. <laughs> I now understand everything. I've been getting so many insights today. The universe has been talking to me. Um, I don't understand everything, but I understand everything that I was feeling. So got home from being too productive, right? Too productive. That's part of Taurus. And I laid down to like kind of meditate and recalibrate and all those things. And I was like, what am I going to talk about? I don't want to do the scopes. I don't like doing the scopes. I don't want to do this. Like, that's not true. None of that is true. I actually really love doing this. And in this moment, I'm very happy doing it. But in that moment, it was like, no. And I asked Joe, I was like, do you want to do this for me? Like inner child just throwing a temper tantrum, not wanting to do it. Um, which is funny because like I said, I love it. That's that Leo love energy. Like I love showing up and tapping into the energies and sharing it, recording it. Um, but my lazy cat, my Taurus Ferdinand the Bull in the pasture was like, just leave me in the pasture. I just want to smell flowers. I don't want to do anything. So you may have some interesting swings today, even involving something that you love. There's that Leo moon. Um, whether it's being super productive and then like wanting to do nothing, the super wired and then the tired coming in these energies it's playing us on so many levels because our nervous systems are being affected by this um, our physical bodies uh, the emotional body and how it's supposed to show up all of that Alexa's turning the light down on me she doesn't want to hear it <laughs> so just a lot it's a lot Watch for your triggers coming up today, especially in these squares. So the first square, the square with Jupiter, the moon and Jupiter, happens at 1.11 p.m. Pacific time. So 1.11. One, one, one. It's like, okay, this is a portal. we got to move through this. The second one happens at 2, 2.20. We might as well just say it happens at 2.22 p.m. <laughs> Pacific time. It's not exact, but close enough, right? It's close enough. So 1.11, one, 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 two, two, two. we have these squares let yourself be present in this discontent. It's not necessarily telling you a truth, although it might be. The truth could have been like, I don't want to do this anymore. It's not the truth. But in that moment, like the rest was so important. Listen to what the message might be behind the trigger, behind the complaint. Doing too much, doing too little, feeling like too much, feeling like too little. All of our enoughness, all of the worth stuff is coming up. And as we are in the last two days of the sun in Aries, this is the time to really embrace who we are. And I love the energy mantra. Like, who I am in any given moment is perfect. It's enough. It's the talent. It's the skill. It's what you came here for. Remember that through these ups and downs. Um, like I said, this energy is very triggering. The other energy that we have going on is fire, fire. So moon and Venus, moon and north node as well, because we have Venus and the north node working together, which is going to highlight some of that worth stuff. Um, 
definitely not highlighting the lazy cat, but hopefully highlighting some of that, like, who I am is enough. Like, you all universe are lucky to have all of us. <laughs> so that kind of energy. Um, moon and Mercury also connecting. Moon and Chiron also connecting. Potentially some of these insights can bring healing. But like I said, watch for the triggers. The triggers are also bringing healing, but they are very, you're going to be very present in this energy today. Thursday is our last full day of Sun and Aries. So winding it down, Aries may have some last kick butt messages for you. All right. These two, I think, exemplify the energy. We have the patience card that is the cow or the bull in the field. It just wants to smell flowers. Zen out, zone out, zen out, yeah. Um, and then we have the stress, the overproductive, doing too much, letting our worth hinge on doing all of the things. Yes, we are also human doings. We are doers. We are actors, right? We're here to act. We are here to participate. But watch the overdoing. Because that Uranus energy can make it all a little bit manic and Jupiter just wants to make it bigger. So listen to your body, mind, spirit, soul, and heart. Bring all of them in for support in this. Remember, we are all in this together. <laughs> um, have compassion on anyone around you knowing that they too are probably feeling the tired and the wired. And yet we have... I'm getting two messages for this. It's funny because these are both Earth cards, the Nine and Ten of Pentacles. You know, the markets have been really unstable. People are saying all kinds of things about Bitcoin and all that. Here's the Nine and the Ten of Coins. And the universe is always reminding us, oh my gosh, are we abundant here? Oh my gosh, do we have all of our needs taken care of and we forget? And what happens if you approach life from abundance, knowing there's enough, knowing that God universe can and will provide enough in the perfect moment. And I'm feeling this with this, these cards, a reminder of this as Jupiter and Uranus come together. That would be the biggest mind shift of all if we could truly recognize the grace, the beauty and abundance that we have here on this planet. Alexa, turn on main light. Okay. Hello, oh, here I am again. She's literally turned it off on me. I'm also getting grounding from these cards. <laughs> so take some time to get grounded because otherwise these ups and downs are going to just womp you. Um, hopefully the grounding can help balance. I was sitting here with my eyes twitching, not here, but in the other room with my eyes twitching, feeling all the electrical energies. And I just imagined open up the energetic pathway like through and around about my chakras, um, just expanding and like energy having space to go and move through. And that calmed me down immediately. So I suggest something like that. If you are feeling twitchy, fluttery, this is going to keep increasing through the 20, 20th or 21st? Through the 21st, but then the 20th. 20th. Yeah, the 20th. 20, 21st, depending where you live. I can't even answer a straight question. So I'm going to leave that here. But let the energies move through. Imagine it kind of like a winding snake rolling through. It helps. So that's it for today. You can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. And the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And remember who you are for. You are the solution. Namaste.